Hi, my name is Dominique Forestier, and today I'm presenting with my co-chair, Tawana Charlton, about how we created a seat at the table to increase minority leadership at the University of Florida College of Medicine. Our class was initiated with about 134 students and 22% of whom identified as underrepresented in medicine. Throughout our first preclinical year, we repeatedly saw our cultures being misrepresented in lectures. And while each of these occurrences were met with frustration and disappointment, we never really felt empowered to bring this concern to um, the administration. Students in the years ahead of us constantly told us about how their concerns were dismissed and never really investigated. As we went on in the year, we began to observe how our class president and our class vice president were able to voice any concerns that the students had to the administration and always received an expedient response. As we took a closer look at our class executive board, we saw that there were 20 students and only one of whom was an URM, URM student. When we're talking about issues of racism and discrimination, it can be really daunting to take them forward to the faculty, especially given the hierarchy in academic medicine. And so what we decided to do was create a diversity liaison position um, as a voice of URM students and as a voice to promote inclusive changes in our curriculum. So the diversity li liaison sits on the class executive board and on the curriculum committee with faculty. So here they can engage students and voice their concerns as well as talk to our clerkship directors and our course directors about the materials they're providing us and really get rid of some of these stereotype, stereotypes and discriminatory profiles that are put in our lectures. In addition to that, the diversity liaisons will spearhead educational workshops on cultural awareness um, and make sure that we're including healthcare disparities in our curriculum. Tawana is going to tell you a little bit about some of the things we've been able to accomplish in the last year and a half. So as Dominique mentioned, I'm going to talk about some of the outcomes we've seen since instituting the diversity liaison position. So we now have a required anti-racism lecture as well as a required reading for the entering first year medical students. In our uh, preclinical curriculum, we only had one black attending that provided a lecture. And since then, we've been able to recruit more black attendings to provide lectures in various courses across our curriculum. Additionally, we've been able to implement a microaggression workshop in our third year orientation prior to starting on the wards. And we've even been able to add microaggression to the mistreatment form where these microaggressions can be reported as a complaint for further investigation. So I'd like to take a little moment to talk about our monthly lecture series and our community event. So our second year diversity liaisons, they implemented a monthly lecture series that focused on topics that either coincided with that month's observation or relevant medical topics that were not discussed elsewhere in our curriculum. And as you can see in figure one, these are some of the examples of the topics that we were able to implement. Um, for example, in February, which is Black History Month, the topic was the effects of racism and how to be anti-racist. And in April, the topic there was experiences as a URM resident. As far as our community event, Dominique and I created this networking event that was open to all of you of Calm that really emphasized the importance of celebrating diversity within our community. We were able to tackle some really tough topics with some fun activities. And as you can see in figure two, you have some students working on the puzzle and as photo of students enjoying the concentric circles activity. And Dominique and I really believe that we were able to begin breaking down barriers here at our institution. So to sort of bring this all together, um, as a committee of liaisons, we've been able to push you of calm to address um, racism in our curriculum, as well as come up with strategies to address discrimination against its students. We're hopeful that in the coming years, we'll continue to see a steady increase in the diversity of student leadership and our teaching faculty. But one of our priorities is to help you of calm produce culturally competent medical providers for our community and our country. We wanna take a moment to say thank you for allowing us to present here at the Diversity in Medicine Conference, and we'll open up to any questions that you have.